rage on that beat going crazy. Fallout was my first RPG, Fallout 3 to be exact, and my mind was blown playing that game as a teenager. I was like completely oblivious that a game like this could exist. And so if it wasn't for Fallout, I wouldn't have turned into the nerd I am and been doing all this stuff that I do now. So I'm very excited to be painting my first Fallout miniature from the Wasteland Warfare tabletop game. It's the awesome iconic T-45 power armour. So let's not drag this intro out anymore, let's just jump straight into it. Seeing as it's impossible to get any tins of Citadel Primer at the moment, I had to use Army Painter Primer. I didn't have to use it, that's what I chose. And it's got a little bit of a satin kind of finish. It says matte finish, but it's not matte. So to start with, I'm going over a base coat of matte black so that I can do the next step as intended. To be honest, this could be kind of tabletop ready. It looks pretty cool, but obviously we're going to take it to the next level by adding some weathering effects and make it look like it really just stepped out of the wasteland. So as you can see, I'm being very, I'm being very targeted as where I put the paint. And the good thing about a wash doing rust I mean this is my first time doing it but this is what I've worked out rust you know is gonna develop where it's the wettest and where's it gonna be the wettest in all the recesses right where all the water collects so that's exactly what a wash does I did a few coats of this in certain areas where I wanted it to look more rusty and for my first time doing a rust effect I think I did pretty well So now we're going to add some more vigorous rust using dry rust and a cotton bud that I've frayed the end of a little bit. Using the plate mail metal, I finished off the armour by adding a few scratches. So now we're going to tackle some bits that we should have done earlier really, but because I have no self control, I wanted to see what the armour would look like straight away so... That's why I didn't do this before. Now, with a very steady hand, we're going to do the little yellow line that's on the gun. And after that, 
I'll clean up all the rest of the details and then there's nothing left to do but to show you the results. And there we have it. I'm very happy with the results. My first time doing rust and I think I'm more than happy to use this technique again. Just seeing it makes me just want to get get playing, you know, I want to play the game, I want to paint all the rest of them up. I will be painting a few more on the channel, so stay tuned if you want to see that. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you'd like to support me, just check out the description of this video for access to my Patreon, or you can use my affiliate link to the Giants Tower to buy yourself some minis. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.